Okay, hard knocks are happening for the Seattle Seahawks, whether they like it or not. Here's Pete Carroll from yesterday. Pete had some news hmm. as it relates to the quarterback competition with the Seahawks. Geno Smith got the start week one against the Steelers. Drew Locke getting the start week two against the Bears. Even though Geno Smith, still number one, Drew Locke was getting the start. Let's hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Here's Pete Carroll talking about his quarterback plan as of yesterday afternoon. This is part of the plan. Yeah, well, regardless of what happened, this is we were going to give Drew a chance to start a game and, and, and you know, just see what happens. And um, fortunately, he's played really well, and he, he deserves a shot to, to play, just like everybody deserves a shot to play and, and show what they can do. So um, it, we've just been able to stick to it. If you remember back when, you know, way back when we did this uh, last time we were picking quarterbacks, uh, we had three guys we were going through, you know, and they were doing they were rotating with the ones and did that with the games as well. So it's some, somewhat the same format. Uh, Gino deserved more than that. You know, he deserved the starting opportunity, and so that's how we, uh, you know, we came to settle on it. Who's leading right now? Pardon me? Who's leading the competition right now? Don, 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 Greg, I don't even have to say that, right? And Gino's still the number one guy. You know, he, he's holding on to his spot at this point. Well, Gino is even more likely to be the number one guy after what happened not long after Pete Carroll. Crazy. I don't want, I don't want Pete Carroll making any comments about me my god <laughs> Come down with the flu next thing you know you got covid that's what happened to drew lock i mean it was like minutes after the stories were out there that drew lock will start thursday night against the bears the seahawks announced that drew lock has tested positive for covid and some of you may wonder what the hell i thought the nfl had made it past covid the way it works now if you're sick They'll test you, and if you have COVID, you get sent home for five days. Now, there's no more of the close contact stuff. I mean, Geno Smith could still get it. They're in the quarterback room together. Right. They're spending time in the facility together. And, and, and it could be Jacob Eason. They could all be knocked out by Thursday night. Who knows? And remember, a big element of it, too, is you've got to self-report. It's not like they're doing temperature checks like early 2020. It's not like anybody is looking for someone to be COVID positive. You basically get sick and they say, oh, well, gee, he's sick. I wonder what it may be. They test you for COVID and then you're gone for five days and Drew Locke will miss the Thursday night game. And it will be Geno Smith unless he gets so sick that he that he taps out and it's Jacob Eason, unless he's so sick that he gets taps out. And then and then I don't know who maybe Pete Carroll plays quarterback at that. I know. <laughs> who knows? I, I you know. First off, I, I, I do like how Pete answers that, you know, and, and handles the quarterback competition. And I like that he's, you know, loyal to Geno Smith, somebody who's been there and put in hard work and, you know, continues to, to let everybody know he's, he's the lead horse in this race, even though that Drew Locke is, you know, in, in the rearview mirror and right there. I feel bad for Drew Locke, though. I do. I mean, Drew Locke, uh, both of these guys got talent. And Drew Locke, as we discussed, I think, on Monday, you could see it watching that Steelers game last week. I mean, he's, he's a good athlete. He's got a very good arm, right? There's, he's got everything you want. Both of these guys do. They just haven't proven it on the field. They have the physical ability. Locke, maybe he has even more special physical ability than Geno Smith when it comes to just his arm. So that's where, hey, here was a chance for him to – you know, maybe do something miraculous and lead the first team and, you know, hey, show everybody that he could be the starter there and really put pressure on the situation. But it, I, I'm like you, Mike. It, 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 to me, it almost puts the nail in the coffin. I, I know Drew Locke now will probably start preseason game number three. But I, I just think when you – everything here, yeah, not going to get to play and start. Geno Smith, I think, would have to play horrible to really bring back, bring back Drew Locke into the race. And – five days of just like you just talked about kind of being you know out of sight out of mind that's not going to help either as far as hey I'm the guy that's in second and I'm trying to you know bring down Geno Smith as the starting quarterback so all of that I think goes goes against Drew Locke and I think that just continues to further something that we thought all along that Geno's going to be the guy and he's going to get every chance and if he does fail or mess up they have Drew Locke to bring off the bench but uh, I, I put I think this puts a nail in the coffin almost yeah, look, I, I agree with you, and I have felt all along that Pete Carroll wants Geno Smith to be the, the starter, and this is just one of those stuff happens. And, and it happened, and it gives Geno Smith another start, and it just bolsters things. It'll be interesting to see if they give Drew Locke the third game now 
as yeah. an alternative, or right. or if the attitude's going to be, hey man, right. you had your chance. Sorry, sorry. Now Pete Carroll just had COVID not that long ago, and it's not like at this point there's a whole lot that anyone is doing to avoid getting it. There, there is a very widespread attitude of acceptance in the country at this point, and I'm not passing judgment. I'm just acknowledging reality. Yeah, anywhere you're right. you go, there's just uh, it's like, hey, if I get it, I get it. I'm I'm vaccinated. I'm boosted. I or or I'm not. And either way, I don't care. I'm living my life. So it's not like anyone can say, well, Drew, you had a big opportunity coming up and you blew it because you weren't masked up and you weren't careful and you didn't wash your hands. And you didn't do this. And you didn't do that. It happens. So I don't think they hold it against him. I don't think there's a recklessness involved. And we don't know anything about his vaccination status, although I have a feeling we would have heard last year if he wasn't vaccinated in Denver. So it, it just it, it is what it is, as they say. And now Geno Smith goes forward and it'll be interesting to see what happens week three when Drew Locke is back. Is there even an opening for him in the preseason finale? Well, I don't know. I have a feeling there I, may not be. I know. I'm, I'm with you, too. I mean, you're, you're right. I mean, at some point, you know, okay, yeah. do you want to start him in preseason game number three, even though you know it's going to be Geno? Don't you want him now to, like, don't you want to frame your team for week one and have the starting quarterback out? We still you – know, so you're right. I'm not so sure it will be Drew Locke at the number three guy. I, you know, I kind of said that casually a minute ago. Uh, saying, well, now they'll let him go to preseason game number three. But the more I think about it, I go, no, maybe not. Maybe you don't do that. If Geno plays well again, I think he just solidifies, hey, this is our guy going forward. And we talked about on Monday, you know, Geno's in the trust tree. Geno showed he could play Seattle Seahawks Pete Carroll football without turning the ball over last year and, and doing that. And I think that's big to Pete Carroll. He wants the quarterback to play it careful. I mean, he, Russell Wilson, I think that's one thing he's had to deal with in Seattle where he's a little, he was a little over careful at times and people, oh, he doesn't throw the ball down the middle. And I, you know, I, I, yes, he's smaller and couldn't do that. But at the same time, I always would tell, tell people, Hey, he's got a coach in his ear all the time. Don't turn it over. You know, our defense is good. Don't turn it over. So he was raised that way in that system. And that's what Pete Carroll wants. But then we got into the game and Hey, Drew Locke got strip sack fumbled and, you know, we were, hey, I don't know if that was his fault or not. You know, he got blindsided. And then Pete Carroll had some interesting comments about that yesterday again, which gives you another little gleam into I think Geno Smith is in the trust tree and the guy that's, you know, in, in the leader house, as the smart people say, uh, to play quarterback for, for um, the Seattle Seahawks. I mean, Drew Locke was just the guy who was thrown into the trade. For Russell Wilson like why would you say no if you're the Seahawks we need another quarterback the Broncos aren't going to keep Drew Locke now that they're moving on to Russell Wilson I don't know that the Seahawks sat down and specifically strategized Ooh, let's try to engineer a trade of Russell Wilson to the Broncos because we got to have Drew Locke I mean I, I've never gotten the sense of buy-in of ownership it's just like he's there he gets to compete well yeah but Gino's our guy Gino's the guy we went out and brought in Gino's the guy who came in while Russell Wilson was injured and played pretty well but that that's that's proven yeah that he was a did fact it. he did a good job and he, and he came in that Thursday night and almost pulled off the win right you know replacing the guy who never gets injured the guy who never taps out the guy who never misses time Gino Smith was ready to go he played well. They were chanting his name. And remember, on that final drive, the receiver fell down and the ball got intercepted yes. and the air went out of the right. balloon. We were all excited. Yeah. Popcorn ready. Yeah. We're there. Yeah. It's what we always want in a, in a primetime game, especially when we're all watching it, or at least the people who care. We're watching it, and it comes down to this. And here's Geno, and this is his chance, and the receiver falls down, and that was that. Yeah, no, you're right. And, 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 and you know, to, to remind people, too, that night, I mean, Russell Wilson and the offense wasn't that great. And Geno, you know, came in and kind of gave him some life that night where we, I think we all thought, oh, the game's over. The offense hasn't been good with Russell. It's not going to be good with Geno. And Geno was kind of surgical and went right down the football field. But I do think Drew Locke, you know, I, I understand what you're saying. He's not a franchise quarterback, but I think Seattle had interest in Drew Locke. There was teams that viewed him as a first-round talent when he was coming out in the draft a few years ago. So I do think he he – covered some holes or, you know, covered some issues with their football team. First off, I think a little bit was like, you know, CYA, you know, cover your cover your ass in case, 
hey, Geno Smith fails. We need to have somebody that we can, you know, knows that knows know that we can, he can play a little bit why, and he's why, got talent. Listen, wait, wait, hang on, yeah. hang on. I know you're making a really valid point here, but why do you go CYA and then say cover your ass? Well, I just wanted to make sure everybody knows. I don't knows. get it. I just wanted to make hey, sure. Hey, ASAP, as soon as possible. Uh, I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start <laughs> using the letters and then say the whole well, thing. Well, sometimes people don't know. I'm trying to be – GFY. I don't know. You know. Sometimes I'm not sure if they're like – they're like American phrases that maybe the the guys over you know across the pond don't know about. So I'm That's just trying for them to, to figure out. You know? That's for them to figure okay, out. Okay, fine. All right. So either way, they know now, and I won't do it again. But I do think there's a little bit of that BFD insurance insurance policy, and then also like the potential policy, you know, and, and potential policy. Again, Locke has talent, and he is one of those guys where you go, ooh, if he could be smart and figure it out. Hey, he he could be something for us. I mean, he like I said, he's got a special arm. He's got good size. He's a good athlete. So I do think there was interest from Schneider and Pete Carroll. And they've kind of raved about his physical skills. I think they were caught off guard by that a little bit when they saw it. I think it was better than maybe they expected. But it goes back to, again, what I think we're, we're both talking about. Geno, they trust him. He's done a good job. And Drew Locke, rightly so, has the turnover you know, cloud over him. And I think that would scare Pete Carroll and a lot of coaches. And you go into the game and what Pete said the other night, hey, Drew Drew messed up the protection. He was he shouldn't have got hit in the back like that. He did not see that. So, again, you know, I wasn't sure if it's somebody messed up their assignment or if it's the quarterback not seeing it. And Pete, again, I think deliberately gives you a little bit of an inside look again to let everybody know that, hey, Geno's the guy. And – you know, there's one thing that I just don't think will sit well with them or they're probably scared of with Drew Locke a little bit is the turnover issue that we've talked about really the last two years when Drew Locke has got in regular season football. Yeah, I look with or without the COVID positive, I think that it was going to be Geno Smith. This now just makes it even stronger. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.